I want to show you guys a question from the IMO, which is a math competition for pre uni math students, so mostly year 11s and 12s. And it's a nine hour long test that just has six questions, broken up into two different four and a half hour sessions done over two days, um, where each question is scored from one to seven. So the highest possible score would be 42. And yet, despite the fact that the only students taking this exam are those top six students from each nation once a year selected to compete at the international level and represent their country, and hence are amazingly proficient mathematicians, the median score for this exam per question tends to only be around one or two. And overall, historically, the mean score of these top 600 competitors, because on average recently about 100 nations compete each year. Historically as a cohort, the mean score out of 42 has only been around 15 or so. So it's a very hard test. And in each of those two sections of three questions, the problems tend to get harder as you go from question one to question three, and likewise question four to question six on the second day. Although of course, the definition of difficulty is subjective and in the eye of the beholder. But the thing about those problem threes and sixes on the second day is that even though they're, the, they're positioned as the hardest problems on this famously hard and selective test, quite often these are the ones with the most elegant solutions available, where all you need is some subtle shift in perspective about the question that transforms it into it transforms it from something very challenging to something slightly more doable. So here I'm going to share with you one problem that came up as the sixth question on one of these tests a while back. And those of you that follow this channel, <laughs> um, you know that rather than just straight up diving into the solution and showing you, which in this case for this question actually surprisingly short, in fact you could google it and I'm showing you the wiki page right here, in fact, and it has a, a given solution. Um, I would like to take the time to walk you through how you might have stumbled across the solution yourself. So perhaps you might have discovered where the insight comes from. So that is, I'd rather make a video more about the problem solving process um, rather than uh, the problem itself and how the problem solving process can be used um, to solve these kinds of difficult question threes and sixes. So anyway, here's the question. It says, let a and b be positive integers such that ab plus one divides a squared plus b squared. Show that a squared plus b squared over ab plus one is the square of an integer. 